Hey everyone, welcome to tonight's recap of So You Think You Can Dance. It's the top eight. Yay. <laughs> so the contestants are each going to perform once with a pro that they haven't danced with yet and once with another contestant. Well, the judges as always this season, Adam, Mia, and Nigel. Uh, Alex is injured. That sucks. He cannot perform because he shattered his Achilles tendon. Shattered it. He shattered, ruptured it. Shattered it. <laughs> like it's a, a coffee mug. Yeah. Um, they think that's what happened, but they're not sure yet. Right. Well, he had the MRI. We're waiting on the results. Uh, he's going to automatically be in the bottom three because he didn't perform, though, which really sucks. And if he makes it through this week, if he still can't perform next week, he's off. Yeah. That really, he was like my favorite this season, so I'm really bummed out about the whole situation. All right. All right. Up first, Lauren and Pasha doing a cha-cha, Jean-Marc and Franz. They dance to Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce. When they said that, her eyes lit up. No. All right. So I thought it seemed like it was lacking a little bit of fluidity in the dance. Bit. You know, a little uh, uh, stop and start. Uh, Nigel's pretty happy with her costume, That's all though. I can talk about. He's like, the costume that's barely there it's and the so sexy hair. sexy. She's using sex as a weapon, and that is totally unfair. All right. Jose and Lauren up next with their contemporary by Mandy Moore. Never Tear Us Apart by In Excess. This was one of my favorite song. songs by In Excess. <laughs> I thought it was really awesome routine. He seems a little bit weak on the partnering, though. A little bit. You'd think he'd be a little bit stronger. I mean, he is a b-boy. He's got to support, like, his own weight. It seemed like he was kind of struggling to lift up Lauren and her giant butt. Yeah. The chemistry was good, though. Yeah. And to hear Nigel talk about him, though, kind of makes me uncomfortable. It's like, he's so young and tender, and his personality is so wonderful. Like, he's some barely legal teen. <laughs> it's just... Pedophilish. Okay. Sorry. I, I just, it makes me eh. Moving on to Kent and Comfort with a Dave Scott hip hop. Right. You're Not My Girl by Ryan Leslie. He's like a baby Justin Timberlake. I said this not five seconds before everyone else jumped on the bandwagon. It was ridiculous right. how many times the judges stole our comments. Exactly. Right. And I'm sure we're going to get, you just say what the judges say. You shouldn't be doing this. All right. Well, we are. And it was hip-hop light. That was another thing that, in some in substance, uh, Nigel had said. I really liked it. It was smooth. It was, I don't know. Like it was good. Criminal. Um, he kind of looked like Son of Freddy Krueger with that hat on. That's though. what my dad says every it's true. week. <laughs> was Adam trying to say Tiny is tastier? I don't know. Let's move on. Adachike and Courtney with a Mandy Moore jazz. Is You Is or Is You Ain't My Baby by I Dinah so. Washington. I do too. He seemed kind of emotionally detached from the whole situation. I don't know. Um, I thought he was more worried about like doing the choreography, which wasn't even that great. I mean, the choreography was great. His performance was not that great. Then getting into the whole character and story. So I'm going to have to give him a... Eh. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Billy and Allison, so we thought, was up next. But Allison got hurt. She messed up her ribs. I don't know if it was Billy's fault or not. No, they said she <laughs> oh, had that okay. injury Oh, okay, previous before. injury. So Katie stepped in. All right, I loved Katie in her season. They did a Spencer Live Broadway routine to McCavity, the mystery cat from, from Cats. cats. <laughs> yeah. So I thought this was a great routine. It was awesome. There was just this one part right at the end. One little when slip they were up. really out of sync yeah. and it really showed. And but this was really a showcase for Billy. It was I mean, great. It, this was Billy. So yeah, Jerome Robbins, eat your heart out. All right, next one up, Ashley and Dominic. This was one of our favorites of the night, a, tab, a Nappy Tabs hip-hop routine to mm. How Low by Ludacris. I effing loved it. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> it was perfection. I mean, you can't get any better than that. This was like Alex and Twitch's performance from, was it last week? Or yes. two weeks. Yeah, last week. It was unexpected. I'm giddy. Yeah, it was unexpected. All right, so that is perfect. All right, Robert and Catherine up next with their Sean Cheeseman jazz routine. They dance to Sinking Feeling by Royce and Murphy. It's Roisin, by the way. I was schooled. <sighs> I'm way I hope trash, it's Roisin. So I don't know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. It, this just didn't happen for me. The judges had, of course, campaigned for Robert. What the hell? I mean... But who's saying that he's arrogant? I haven't heard that. 
No, I haven't either. I guess uh, Nigel's quite the little blog reader now. Uh, testing the waters with his tiny toe. Yeah. Everybody else, except for Jose, has to rely on their performance. So, you know, I, I think it's just cheap. Said my piece. Adichike and Alex let off the uh, double routine. You know, the two contestant routines. <laughs> Except Alex was hurt, so Marla had to step into the Bollywood routine by Nicole Dev Mahajan. Yes, yeah, she is Nicole's assistant. Right, and they dance to Moria Ray from Don the Chase Begins Again, the soundtrack. Um, parts of this were really great. Parts of it? Were not. Really. And they weren't really Indian either. No. It just seemed like Adichike was a little bit lazy in the performance. I don't know why. Like, the head thing, I don't know if he added that or what. He's always like, that really bothered me because it didn't fit. Right. And the moves weren't very sharp or hard, and they really need to be in Bollywood. So, eh, I call it lazy. But I did appreciate Kat saying the only intelligent thing she said all season so far by calling out Nigel saying that Jose was like, you know, oh, your dance sucked, but who cares? You're so great. Well, that's not cool. So yeah. thank you, Kat. Good right. job, Kat. Exactly. Kent and Lauren up next with our other favorite of the night, Contemporary by Travis Wall. He's just so good. He is. They danced to Collide by Howie Day. I thought it was amazing. It was really like watching a little baby Travis and Heidi from, I guess it was season two, dancing when they did that Mia Michael. I think it was Mia Michaels. It was. Um, yeah. Um, the chemistry? Yeah. There's some. There's a hell of a lot of chemistry. What the hell's going on there? I felt like I was intruding. Again, I wrote that down before Adam said it. And yeah, it was so good because it was real. That's right. I thought Kent was gay. He's not gay. <laughs> All right. See, I never got that out of it. My gaydar was not going off. Ashley and Robert up next with their quick step by Jean-Marc in France. I'm sure they were cringing out in the audience. Uh, Man with the Hex, she started squealing by the atomic fireballs. This is definitely the song from Labyrinth. With and that's one of words. our favorite movies. It is? <laughs> of course. I don't know about that. David Bowie in his diaper pants? Well, yeah. Hell but... yeah. All right, so it was a hot, sloppy mess. What was good about it? Um, I thought Ashley was okay. She was all right. But, but Robert, oh, his hold, and then there was something going on with his legs that was weird. I just, they looked uh, like he had 10-pound iron weights attached to his toes. They and just I hate didn't how go they up. always say that quick step is like the kiss of death, because I just, I love quick step. I do, too. All right. Uh, Billy and Jose up next, actually closing out the night with their African jazz by Sean Cheeseman, The Hunt by Mickey Hart. It was okay. Yeah. Again, great choreography by Sean Cheeseman. Not really executed well. Lukewarm performance. And by the way, was he wearing Ken Pave's clip-on bangs that I saw in Home Shopping the other day? I think yes. They were pretty hot, actually. I really liked them. They didn't match the rest of his hair, but looked pretty good. Tomorrow, somebody's going home. Who the hell's it going to be? Better not be Alex, unless he's really hurt. <laughs> Uh, Natasha Bedingfield also performing. What the hell's up with Kat Dealey? Why can she never do the tease anymore? I had to look a ahead on the guide. Thanks a lot, Kat. That wasted a minute of my life. I don't life. think that's her fault, though. Yeah, well, whoever wrote her little uh, teleprompter needs to be schooled. All right, kids, till tomorrow night. Much, Much love. love.